Just stay the night I need you now, I do oh. Just one more time Can we pretend everything's all good? And I know it's true Can't blame me for preaching when I'm falling for you Cause baby, I'm a slave for you You got me wrapped up in your chains I throw my life away for you Oh no, nothing's been the same Since you've been Say that you're mine I need to know it's true Just for today Can we make love like we used to do? Yeah, yeah. You say I'm crazy Well, maybe it's true Can't blame me for trying If my effort's for you Cause baby, I'm a slave for you I'm a slave Got me wrapped up in your chains I throw my life away for you yeah. Oh girl, nothing's been the same Since you've been Yo, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Carlos Harris and I'm on the rooftop. Look at this beautiful view just all around right here. And as you can tell, I got a wider lens. Look at this. And I know I said in one of my other videos, I had the Sony ZV-E1. Now I actually do. I actually switched over to that. And then they got a 16 to 35 millimeter lens to go with that. So it's working out perfectly. I'm enjoying it. But as you can see by the title, I'm officially a dad and man, it's a very surreal feeling, to be honest. It's it's hard to explain. I talked to one of my friends, Skip. He's like, man, this, the feeling is indescribable. And it is, um, you don't know how to describe it. Like that unconditional love that people talk about, that's like what I feel. And then just like going through the whole experience of like um, Taja giving birth and all of that. Like I have a new level of respect for women that have given birth, went through pregnancy, all that stuff. Like. Taja literally gave birth with it out of epidural. She wanted it, but it literally took too long. Um, and she gave birth in literally like seven minutes after she was um, uh, moved over to the, I guess, delivery room, whatever. So like the experience was just crazy. Sleeping on the couch in the uh, hospital was ridiculous. My neck was just extremely sore. But once we got home and got settled in, um, obviously this, it was an adjustment, obviously having a new human being there, but like, Leia is such like the perfect little kid, man. Like I couldn't ask for like more beautiful daughter. Like she's very chill. Uh, she really only kind of like cries whenever she's hungry. So it'll be a, a really cool experience becoming a dad. And it's just like, again, like an undescribable feeling that you have like looking at like your first child. And I get like that baby bliss feeling that people get. But yeah, um, we got a lot to do today. Obviously um, I'm taking you guys through obviously a, a regular vlog, but it's including like my family time and all that stuff too. Taja's mom uh, has been here. She's been helping us over the past week and she's gonna be here for this week too. So it's been a really, really good help. Obviously she has had kids and she understands kids a lot more than we do, but we're gonna get through the process together. There's no manual to parenting or anything like that. You kind of just gotta go with the flow, but I am, I'm super excited um, to be a dad and I'm just like, man, like the joy. It's, it's crazy, man. And to you, to you have kids, I guess, like you don't know that feeling, but it's honestly a beautiful feeling, man, to just love on her, get to come home to her, kiss her, hug her, feed her, all those little things, wiping her uh, her ass, all those little crazy things you do as a parent, um, which you'll have, I'll have story times about that for sure. Cause the hospital, bro, I was wiping her ass and literally she just started peeing and boo-booing, but all I did is laugh. Cause that's just gonna be a part of parenting and I'm enjoying it. 
Today is a beautiful day. Um, I'm going to be running some errands to one, pick up stuff for um, Tasha for Valentine's Day because you can't forget about her. And as you know, all the fellas know, all the girls still want you to ask them to be their Valentine. So I'm definitely still going to do that. Uh, I got errands to run for her. I got to pack packages today to get those shipped out. Regular workflow, it doesn't stop. Um, you have to maintain all the workflow and stuff that we currently have going on. But yeah, this is going to be another vlog, hopefully. It's just probably going to be one day. It might lengthen out to like 20 minutes or so, but really appreciate the love and support that you guys have showed um, to me along this YouTube journey, Instagram, TikTok, wherever you met me. Um, I personally appreciate it, and let's get this vlog started. You don't know how I feel about you Pushing my patience to empty I swear On the late night we can't come down You don't know, you don't Letting know Letting my guard down for you all right, quick outfit check because I'm running again behind as always. I think these are these are John Elliott shorts right here. The little zippers on the side down below. So I'm gonna throw these on, and then I got this hoodie from my boys over at Private Selection. My boys Scotty, Ian, and Larry sent through the pack. Um, this is a black hoodie. I also have a gray one, which is dope, but it just says ugh, private right there. Nothing on the back. It's a heavyweight um, hoodie, which is dope. So I'll throw it down up top. And then down below, I'm gonna wear the obsidians. I feel like I haven't worn these in forever. Like, if you look at the sole of these, they don't even look like they've been really worn more than maybe five times. Who knows, but I'm gonna rock these just to have some blue down below, black socks, and call it a day. But yeah, I'm gonna get dressed, might throw on a beanie. Oh, which watch are we gonna wear today? Let's see. Submariner, of course. Submariner is always looking good. Let's go with these two David Yerman rings. Or actually, this is David Yerman, and that is um, Cartier. Keep it pretty simple, and I'll chat with y'all when I get in the car. All right, so we're about to head to the flower market, but quick story time, because y'all know I just got something to say about my apartments, and we're gonna head out while I'm doing this. Bruh, so my apartment, Taj's mom was here for, or is here for two weeks. So obviously two weeks is a long time. I wanted to bring her a car just in case her and Taj needed to go anywhere. Um, Cause I just have my car here. These fools literally hit me up and said, oh, well we don't allow guest parking. Let it be clear, bro. I pay $7,500 per month. And this garage you see me driving in right now has eight stories to it eight stories and not everybody uses parking in here so literally there's a whole like four floors above this that they use for valet and guess who they offer the valet to just the residents and they also charge you 325 dollars per car to valet your car in the paid parking spot that i pay 150 dollars a month for which literally makes no sense but you can't have guest parking it, it doesn't make any sense to me and then along with that email because i went down there and talked to um one of the people in the office they decided to get back to me about the cult of which they haven't said anything in basically like three and a half weeks basically a month and he's like oh well we'll let you keep the cold tub if you get uh three hundred thousand dollars of like liability insurance boy y'all can liability and kiss my ass because again that cold tub don't be bothering nobody, nor is it going to bother anybody. My neighbor didn't cause more damage to my damn uh, balcony than anything. So if anything, he need liability insurance. But yeah, that's just a quick little story time. These apartments, bro, I don't understand it. It makes no sense to me how you could be paying $7,500 a month living in downtown LA and you don't have any guest parking. It's the wildest thing like I've ever heard of. I need to go get gas. Um, I think, I guess we can see how much it takes to fill up in LA too, because I got 16 miles still empty and I only know where one gas station is. But yeah, that's like a little update. It just be ghetto out here in LA. So I've just never heard anything like that. But yeah, let's go fill up the gas and then head to the flower market. It's my first time going over there. So it'll be cool. And they got like extended hours and stuff for like Valentine's Day. So I'm thinking I'm going to pick up the, or I'm going to pick out the bouquet and stuff that I want to get Taja. I don't know if I'm going to keep it in my car or just go back in the morning and pick it up, like place an order and go back and pick it up and then just kind of go grab that and then bring everything in the morning. 
Um, I'm still trying to figure that out. I'm gonna ask them how long this stuff lasts, if like they can cut it today and then it'll last overnight. Uh, Cause I know stuff's gotta be put in water after the uh, little things have been cut. But yeah, I'll check in with y'all when I get to the gas station. All right, so the gas is $5.39. Oh, I forgot to mention too. They said during the uh, email, if anybody's in your apartment more than 14 days, they need to be on the lease. I just think that's completely like nitpicking. So like take for instance, I'm being extremely like sarcastic. My daughter obviously lives in my house, so she's gonna be there for more than 14 days. She's gonna be there for the rest of her life. Does she need to be on the lease? This is basically like nitpicking and stuff like that. Uh, I'm assuming, I think every time I get gas is around like $81. Cause I think this is like a 15 gallon tank, but we'll see what the total is over here. Um, it's a super nice day outside. It's a little bit hotter than what I thought, or maybe it's just hot cause I just got out of the shower. But we're gonna see what this total is. Man. I think the uh, little flower market is, it's not that far away, I'm assuming. I'm actually gonna type it here in on the GPS and see. I think it's probably like 10 minutes away. And it closes at two, it's 12.32 right now. So I will be good on time. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna head to the office because I can get all the other stuff that I need. Like stores don't close that early. So I'll be able to go grab that stuff. I'm gonna get her like a robe and all the rest of the stuff that I need. Oh damn, it can't be $55. There's no way. These little gas things be tweaking. So, Let's see. It says $55, but I'm assuming that this thing is just not all the way in there. Shuttle uh, here. Look at this R8. R. Wish it had some different wheels, but it's super clean. Alright, I finally found parking, so I made it over here to the flower market. And as you can see, I'm going to show you guys around. lady over here that I saw first um, and see if I can find a bouquet. And again, I wanna make sure that it lasts. So if I have to come pick it up tomorrow morning, then I will, but I'm gonna browse around here and um, check out what they have. They have like a large one right here of a hundred roses. I like this. It's super cool. I wish they had like multi-colored ones. So. Let me see. Oh, that looks. This one's nice. I might check this one out too. In the morning tomorrow, I could come up here at like 4 a.m., which I probably am, um, to just come grab these and then bring them up to Taja at the same time with everything that I'm getting her. That way, it doesn't have to like sit in my car or whatever. But this is what I decided to get. So that was easy, quick. Now I'm gonna head to my office and pack some orders. All right, now that I got that solidified, um, I'm about to head back to my office. I ended up talking to this um, this older black guy. He was like a, um, a sports agent, but he was just kind of going in and talking about, cause I told him I had a daughter or he overheard. Um, and he was just talking about, you know, just making sure to set your family up for success, whether it's like putting them on your LLC, paying them, um, things like that. And I think that's super important for people to start thinking about, especially, when you come into some type of like money um, to make sure that you think for the future and not just for yourself. And I'm ultimately, you know, realizing that the more as I get older and I build a family is the importance of building something beyond myself because I want something to leave for my daughter um, and my future family to be able to have tangible things and such like that. So it was a really cool conversation, very just like random, but we talked for like literally like 20 minutes but it was cool um, and it was like kind of right on time, um, honestly, with uh, the current situation and stuff that I have going on. Because it's stuff that I thought about, but now that it's like here, it's um, it's even cooler to kind of put into place. So it'll be exciting to build things for my daughter and have her have stuff um, again when I'm no longer here and, and things like that. So yeah, I'm about to get out of here. It looks like the parking lot like cleared out and uh, head over to my office, which should take me like, I don't know, maybe like 20 minutes or something like that to get over there. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, let's continue this productive day train. All 
All right, so I made it to my office. It is, I think, like 3.36 right now. So, uh, again, we always running behind on time. We're going to get this shit done. Uh, I'm here. We got about, let me see how many orders that I have to do. It's square. So, we got 23 orders that we need to pack. So, I'm going to get on this and try to knock this out within an hour, which should be doable because I have some boxes already built down here so that shouldn't take up most of my time so i'm going to basically give you guys some b-roll of me packing orders and if you guys don't know what i'm packing orders for it's orders for the creature of habits which i talked about in my other video um right here you can see like we have hygiene products and stuff like that so we got shower caddies all that different stuff so yeah i'm gonna pack these orders and then after that i need to pinpoint a store that i can go piece together, or I might Instacart it, who knows? <laughs> Instacart all the stuff that I need to pick up uh, for Taj's like little basket and stuff that I'm putting together, and yeah. Oh yeah, funny thing before I get started on these orders, so this is like the little updates and shit I'll be getting on Leia. So she's doing uh, like tummy time, which is hilarious, cause she's a newborn, but you're supposed to do it for I think like three minutes a day, and Tasha felt like it, she said it felt like child abuse, but it's honestly hilarious seeing her like try to like raise her neck and stuff like that. Cause obviously they can't um, lift themselves up. They're building up their muscles and stuff like that. And they don't really have control of their like um, bodily functions basically at that age. Cause she's only like seven days old, but it's always funny just getting updates throughout the day of what she has going on. Cause Tasha said she was changing her and she definitely was about to finish. And then she said she pissed and shit it again, like while she was changing her, which I feel like is gonna happen quite a bit. But at least she's not a, a boy, because if you're changing like a, a boy baby, they just like pee everywhere as soon as like air hits. But that's just like a little <laughs> parent update. Let me get to work. Yeah. Mm. Hey, big stepper like big meat. Mm -hmm. I was taught to go and get it straight about the mud, little nigga Murder, 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 keep my slugs, my nigga I was taught to never show no love, my nigga Papa Zan next, I ain't never had no feelings What I got planned next, gotta put the stars in the ceiling Sliding down Fairfax, nigga, I was plotting on the menu I wanna be a nigga, so that's on God, I ain't chillin' Yeah, <laughs> perky, perky, dirty soda Ay, Only talk bags on the Motorola Ay, push the hell cat like a old Corolla. Ay, I'ma let these rags talk for me, nigga. Uh, bitch, and I ride with the shooters. Ay, made my cousin a killer. And uh, at 15, I was neighborhood drug dealer. Uh, I'm so cold hearted, I can't show no love, nigga. Okay, so I got majority of the orders done. I can honestly take a break and focus on this Valentine's Day stuff because I'm not going to be scheduling those to get picked up until after Valentine's Day anyway. So. I already marked off like the flowers. Um, I'm gonna get her some mighty patches cause she uses those little mighty patches and stuff for whenever she has like acne or anything. This is like a somewhat postpartum like Valentine's slash um, basket that I'm putting together. So it's stuff that's like useful. She loves flowers. So I got her the flowers as you guys saw, the mighty patches. I'm gonna get her some gym gear. Um, so I'm gonna go to Target and probably pick that up uh, when I get home cause it's right there by my house. Also gonna get her a robe that she can wear around the house cause you know, she breastfeeds a lot. Chocolate, uh, cause she likes chocolate. And I wanna see if I can find like a memory book because we have a, um, like a Polaroid book from the baby shower, but I wanna get a memory book that like is just specifically for Leia and like family photos. And then this perfume from Ariana Grande, Ariana Grande, I think, yeah, Ariana Grande that she likes. I think it's at Sephora. I'm gonna double check. If I can't find that, I'll pick that up later. Um, I just have to figure out where that's at. I'm going to see if I can Instacart some of this stuff because some of this stuff is on Instacart and then obviously I need to pick up like a little basket or whatever to put all this stuff in um, to bring it up to her on Valentine's Day. So I'm gonna see what I can find on Instacart. Actually, let's just look. I know the Mighty Patches definitely are on Instacart. The chocolates, 100% on Instacart. And I'm gonna double check like Target and see uh, if they have like a, a robe or whatever, which I'm pretty sure they do. 
But I'm going to get in here on Instacart, and I'll update you guys in a second. Okay, bet. They got the Mighty Patches, as you guys can see right there. And they also have the Lindell chocolate, which if you guys don't know Lindell, Lindell chocolate definitely hits. So I'm going to add that to the cart too. And all this stuff is at Target. But I don't want to have to go to Target and low-key dumpster dive to try to find all this stuff. So I'm just going to have the Instacart person do it. They be upcharging, obviously, on uh, Instacart, but it's worth it because... I really don't have time to go drive over there, come back to my office, it's just too much of a process. So I'm gonna streamline as much as this as I can and uh, get that done. What else do we gotta get? Um, let's see if I can find a memory book. We might be able to find a memory book. All right, I'm not too much finding the like picture book, which I'm probably not even typing in right, but that's something that I'll look for inside of Target. Let's see if they actually have a robe. They might have a robe, low key. Um, a robe, they actually do have a robe on here, let's see. I wanna get her like, eh, I guess white would be cool. Um, damn, they don't really got like white. The blue, her favorite color is green. So maybe they have like a green one on here that I can find. Nah, I got like this tan one. Eh, I don't, I'm not sure if she would like that. It's like a yarn robe. This one right here, you guys can see that. I focus on that. Let me tap the screen. I mean, it's a clean color. I don't really know. Hmm. I might just need to go in the store and see if I can find that. This one's meh. You gotta go into like sizes. I think the gray, like we can keep it safe with gray. So I think I'm gonna go with the gray. This one right here. Uh, let me pull this up and tap on there. You guys can see what the... All right, bet. Bro, this one, I keep focusing on my face. Let me put my face out of here. All right, you can see this gray one. I think we're gonna go with this gray one. So I'm gonna see if they have her size. So I'm gonna go to a extra small slash small. Cause obviously she'll be wearing this when she's not pregnant too and she can fit that right now too. So I'm gonna get that, add that to my cart, smooth 39 bucks. And then look, let's see if they got a basket. We can see if they got a basket to put all this stuff in. So I might just have to go pick up just the fitness gear from, I mean, to be honest too, I can probably get the fitness gear on here. Let's see. Nah, I'm gonna go in person to actually go see that because I want to like fill it and touch it. Let's see, basket, basket. Hmm, just something simple. Yeah, this little basket would be dope. I'm gonna just get one of these like white cream baskets to put all this stuff in. Uh, let me pull it up right here. Put my face out of the screen. Bam. I'm gonna get that. So I'm gonna put everything inside of there. So it's like this little basket and I'm having flowers and stuff like that. So yeah, we kind of figured that out, but I'm going to basically wrap up here, jump on the rest of these orders, do some emails, and then I'll show you guys when I get to Target so we can hunt down the fitness gear. And then if I can find that perfume, I'm gonna go into Sephora because I think it's like downstairs below Target and see if I can find that. And I think that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. And then the memory book, yeah. So I'll do that. I'm gonna order this stuff right now. What's the grand total on this thing? Let's see, Instacart be taxing. Instacart, uh, grand total. We looking at, no, I don't want to add ons, buddy. Okay, so we are looking at $89. That's with like the delivery fees to, it ain't bad to be honest, but yeah, I'm gonna order this and then pick up the rest of this stuff. So we streamlined that a little bit, but yeah. All right, so Instacart came in clutch. Here's a little basket that I'm gonna put everything in. And then we got the chocolate right here, bussing. We got the Mighty Patches. I think this is the 24 pack. And then we ended up getting a robe. Let's see. Robe in this color, I think it's the only color they had left, but it's super cozy. You can see the materials and stuff right there. It's dope. So I'm gonna put all this inside here and then I'm gonna go to Target in the morning because I'm gonna cook dinner with Taja and her um, mom tonight. That way I'm not coming home too late. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pick that stuff up in the morning whenever I go pick up the flowers, but we got a lot done today. And I'm probably 
Um, I might unbox some stuff when I get home, depending on how I feel, because I got some stuff from Simple Human and my paid partnership with um, Pure Protein. So if I don't unbox that tonight, I'll show you guys in the morning and then we'll pick up the vlog from there. All right, so it's Valentine's Day. It is 6.51 in the morning and I had to come back up here because I thought I left my wallet at my office and it was literally in my backpack. I need to start getting more sleep. Um, they do say when you have a kid, you don't be getting no sleep. It's true, but you gotta push through. I'm about to head over here to the flower market, pick up the stuff that I um, paid for yesterday. And then I'm gonna go to Target and try to get the little like memory book and her fitness stuff. And then we'll wrap it all together, show it to her and um, we'll see her reaction because she's up feeding the baby right now. Um, baby eats every like two hours. So yeah, we're gonna head over here real quick. But it's an early morning. All right, the bag is secured right here. You can see, I think it's like a hundred roses. They decided to put this like Dior like paper on it. It is what it is. And then I also got my daughter just like a little, little small bouquet right here too. I low key, I should go get Tasha's mom um, some flowers too. Shit, let me um, yeah, let me go back in there. I'm gonna grab that. But I'll probably just meet y'all when I go over to Target. That way I can do that. And I'm probably going to get a cart to take all this stuff up because I got stuff in the back too. Um, but this, bro, I think this is the most roses that I've ever bought for sure. Definitely. So I'm going to go back in here and grab her mom some flowers and then I'm going to head back um, over to Target. All right. So I found some fitness gear. This little green right here. And then also a little pair of shorts that she can have. So I'm gonna go with this in green and also black because I like black. So I'm gonna definitely get her some black. I'm gonna get these sizes and then I'm gonna go find the uh, little like memory photo book. I don't know where I'm gonna find that at actually. Have to ask around, but I did find some fitness gear in here. I didn't think it was gonna work out because when I first looked, definitely wasn't nothing that looked like it would be suitable for her. but. I found this little like two piece set that I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her two different ones. And then from there, if she likes it, I'll come back and get some more colors. Cause they got like a little blue, this one. That's cool. I think she would probably like this too. I might get this, but yeah. Found the fitness stuff. And once I find the book, we're all wrapped up and then we can take everything upstairs. All right, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to find that little book. Cause I asked somebody and they said that they probably don't have that here, but I am going to get these two because this is the chocolate that she likes. We were at Ross the last vlog I think we were in and she got these plus the little chocolates and stuff that I got her. But yeah, I'm not going to be able to find that book in here. I don't think they have it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to check out and then it's time to head upstairs. All right, as you can see, I got everything on the cart, all the flowers, the basket, all that stuff. So I'm about to go deliver this and boy, dude, I am tired tired ain't even the word i don't even know how i don't have like i probably do got bags underneath my eyes but bro i'm tired but all this stuff will be worth it they'll be happy i hope which i'm pretty sure they will and yeah i'll check in when i get in there Well, she liked the flowers. Oh, oh guys, one gosh. more thing. Look at the little heart in there. <laughs> got you a little like basket. A or, little care basket. So you got chocolate. Oh, you. you got it. Yeah, and then I got you some some workout stuff. So maybe you get back to working out. I got you different sizes because I know your boobs do. <laughs> So I got you green and black. So it's like two different sizes. It's like small. Oh, that looks so comfy in there. Yeah. Target, like, they was tripping. They only had a little bit. Then I got you some mighty patches. Thank you. And I got you a robe to be Yeah, that's it. Oh, this is perfect. I'm going to use this today. 
but we had like a little postpartum slash Valentine's gift. Oh, and ripping and running these streets. They're so cute. Look at me, I'm sweating bringing up all this <laughs> stuff. Bro, got me in the flower market. They charged me two dollars, bro, to walk in and grab my order that I picked that purchased oh, yeah. yesterday. Yeah. I was like, bro, like I just have to go like right there and grab my order. Yeah. He's like, nah, nah, nah. I'm like, bro, all right, they got it. Yeah. But what they're do you think so, of the flowers? They're so beautiful. These are the most beautiful flowers I've ever gotten. Them things is heavy. I was carrying it, I was like, damn. You did good. He did good, because Carlos don't buy nobody a professional flower. Hey, went down to the flower market for the first time. If y'all ever in LA, make sure y'all go down there. It's a whole bunch of vendors and stuff in there. They had this little like tropical um, like bouquet, but it was weird. I didn't know what the flowers was. Oh, wow. Plus, these are the other $100 roses right here that are just dunzo. Versus these. Versus... These got Dior on them. The other one where they had the <laughs> Chanel. That's what I said. I said, oh, these got Dior. And then we we got we got Leia some little her little bouquet right here. So cute. Her first bouquet. Look at that. Smiling. Look at you. Let me get you on camera. Let me zoom in on you. Get your cameo. Say what's up. They ain't even focus. I can't even tell you got a face. There we go. Look at you. With your flowers, your first little flowers. <laughs>